is the gift to be simple is a gift to be free hi there the welcome on in let's learn 10 songs together your very first 10 songs we'll go over lots of basic techniques and get everything all solid here you can do these one song a day but i'd actually recommend that you spend two days on each song making this a 20-day course my name is Lisa. I go by the Ukulele Fool. I am a lifelong music educator and I want to welcome you on your ukulele journey. I hope you have your ukulele and you're seated. You need to hold it so it is at an angle like this. I am actually using a yoga block to put my right foot on so that I can get support my ukulele on my leg. I'm using my thumb here very lightly to support here, and I'm using the crook of my elbow to hold the ukulele in place as well, because, yeah, don't drop your ukulele, that's not good. Make sure that your fingernails on the hand that you're using to make chords with, and whether you're right-handed or left-handed and how your ukulele is set up, that the, your, your cording hand, your fingernails are very short, and you can do this. We're going to be strumming, and, you know, I think a thumb strum is beautiful, and if you do too, we're in complete agreement on that, but your future self is going to thank you if you use your index finger to start out with. There's, there's really a, a method to my madness. I support mine with my thumb almost as if I have imaginary pick, but I'm using my index finger to go down my ukulele. This is your strumming zone here. Kind of think between the sound hole and the top of your ukulele body. Make sure your ukulele is in tune. When it's in tune, it sounds like this. My dog has fleas. If you need help tuning, I've got a really in-depth look at tuning and I'll put, link it down below as well. Everything in these lessons are time stamps, so if you want to repeat a section, it's there. Kind of think of me as your workout coach and I'll help you through this together. Our first song is Simple Gifts. We will be using two chords, a C chord and a G7. Index finger here, reaching over with your middle finger and then ring finger on the A string like that. We will not take this all in one big bite and go switching chords right away. We're going to take deliberate steps to train what your brain probably already understands, but needs to get that information firmly cemented, kind of like a trail between your mind and your fingers. So let's go. Let me show you up close how I make that transition from the C to the G7. It doesn't happen all at once. I lead with my index finger, placing it on the E string first fret. So from the C, that's the first thing that happens. Then I move across with my middle finger to the C string second fret, and then tuck in my ring finger on the A string second fret as well. I'll show you that again. C goes here, here, here. I would like you to practice that very slowly at your own time. So just pause this video a couple times, do this. You know, it really helps to visualize it as well. Lots of studies on that, the visualization. So just visualize it in your mind, do it slowly, and then come back and we'll do some skills and drills together. My dog just entered the room. <laughs> going from the C to the G7, eight beats per each one, but two beats to switch. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, and G7. Switch. 
switch and G7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, switch and C. Again, this is your journey. If you need to repeat this, repeat it by all means. Here's our next exercise. Only one beat to switch. One, two, ready, begin. It's C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, Switch C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch G seven. Here we go, C to G7, no breaks to rest, going fluently from one to the other. One, two, ready, begin. One of the biggest things that we have to understand as ukulele players is how many times to play a chord. So before we start adding the lyrics to this song, let's play the chords through and get used to playing them in the right number of times. Let's do this together and let me know in the comments down below. How is this going for you? One, two, ready, begin. Before we go on to the song, just take a moment to reflect. How's it going? You don't have to be perfect at this point. We're going to be developing these chords as we go, but you should be, you know, a solid B, 80 to 85% at least on getting things happening. If you're not at that level, give yourself the grace and bounty of being able to 
stop here, repeat these exercises again tomorrow, and then move on. So just a little reflection before we head on to the song. If you feel like this is moving too fast for you, hey, I've got you covered. I've got printouts down below and included in that are links to slower paced exercises where we break apart the C to G7 transition down into smaller steps. So get that if you'd like. So I encourage all of you to get those free materials. And if you're liking this process and enjoy learning, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell because that will help spread the ukulele love. So please and thank you. Let's play and sing this together. Don't worry if the singing's not happening, just continue working on the strumming. Maybe you can hum along. Singing and strumming is really a multitasking event while well, I'm getting the chords too. So give yourself the grace and time to just a slowly or rather deliberately absorb it. One, two, here we go. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, twill be in the valley, love and delight. I hope that this tutorial and play along has brought you joy and confidence in your ukulele journey. I would like to thank all my patrons for their great feedback, song suggestions, community building, and your very important financial support for my teaching efforts. If you appreciate what I do and have a few dollars a month to spare, I encourage you to join our growing Patreon community. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go and keep spreading the ukulele love.